Molly Moran and I'm a client of the Score Folks and I have many great things to say about them. My daughter kind of got me started and she, she's joined a website and she said, Mom, why don't you come on this website with me? I said, well, what can I do? You know, she was doing jewelry. She said, well, sell some of your little dresses. So I thought, what do I got to lose? So I put two or three of them on there and a couple weeks later I, I get a sale to a gal from Australia and then a couple from Canada and it just kind of I uh, just kind of expanded from there. Oh, my first started was, will this even, will these even sell? Are people interested? And now I'm really eager to, yes, it's selling, I can do this. I have had this business probably for about 15 months now. What I do is uh, I make these doll clothes and I put them online and then customers will order them, but I also get orders um, if I have something online that they want in a different size, I will say, sure, I can make that. Or can you make it this color? Or I will take specific orders as well to satisfy my customers. I try to have the Shirley Temple pen as my trademark. I have it on everything I send out. When I went to the score office to see Jack and Maxine, I already had my books in order. I thought I had them in order, and I just wanted them to help me interpret what I was doing and get it so it was more understandable for me. I think she was very skilled in the work she was doing making her doll clothes and had experience as well as good sales from it. But what she learned in SCORE was putting down everything that she was both earning and spending and being able to work at that and say, I know, I know how to do a business now. It's not just a hobby anymore.